time for our cooking segment and this morning we're making bell pepper nacho bites. Stephanie McGrew of Lone Star Physiques is here this morning and I'm excited because the finished product smells delicious. <laughs> yes. Oh. If your TVs could just let you smell what we do, sometimes it's bad BO. But today it's actually really good. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ganging up on me. Maybe. Just, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. So we're making some bell pepper nacho bites, which yes. I mean sounds delicious. So kind of just tell us what we need to do in order to make this. So pretty much all you need is to find a bell pepper. Mm -hmm. And this is where it gets tricky. You have to make sure you cut it into halves mm -hmm. that create little boats. Mm -hmm. So um, so we're kind of putting a twist to stuffed bell peppers because right. usually we use the whole bell pepper. But exactly. this one, after you cleaned it out, you yes. cut it to where it has a little boat. Exactly. Okay. So that way it can hold yes. the contents um, inside. Yeah. And All this right. is just a healthier, low-carb option because... Okay. You know, of course, everybody likes, you know, chips. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And instead of using traditional uh, ground beef that yes. typically you would use, you're using ground turkey. Yes. And you can use theirs um, ground chicken um, or you can use lean ground beef. Mm -hmm. But um, as you can see, I added some spices into it already. Give that um, little fiesta taste to it. Exactly. Mm. All right. And spiciness. Yeah. Well, not, I'm not, I don't like spicy oh. really. So it's. Got some flavor, not right. a lot of Not spice. a lot of kick. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put it in the pan, cook it up. Yes, brown it. Make sure you cook it thoroughly. Okay. Um, you want to make sure all the pink coloring is gone no matter what kind mm -hmm. of meat you have. Okay. Typically they say to cook it a 15 to 20 minutes just to make sure that it's brown and yeah. thoroughly, thoroughly cooked. All the way cooked. Through. Yeah, you don't want to undercook okay. it. And what's our next step? So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your boat. Okay. And there's actually two ways you can do it. You can directly add the meat to the boat. Throw some cheese on it and then toss it into the oven mm -hmm. around 300 uh, degrees for about 15 minutes until the cheese is melted. Or you can get a little bit creative, which I've also done, and I've added tomato. You can add tomato paste, a little bit of salsa. That gives it a little bit more flavor. Mm -hmm. And then you toss it into your boat with the cheese. Because who doesn't like fully noted nachos, right. nachos and things like I'm gonna that? I'm going to switch this around. Exactly. So. Okay, there we go. It's a little bit you easier. Need a oh. No. You're useless. Just get to stand here and look good. Yeah. You'll get to try it. Oh, exactly. I cannot wait. Ever since you said it, the first, when we walked in, I was mm -hmm. excited about it. Okay. And then you just kind of add some of the meat to mm. the mixture. Okay. Oh, goodness. And then you're going to just kind of mix it up Toss a little bit together. just to give it a little bit more flavor. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to add it to your boats. And you want to make sure you, I mean, you can overstuff them if you like, but it just kind of makes it a little harder to... Um, Add the cheese and everything else. Add everything else when you exactly. overflow. And then after you're done doing that, do you want me to add the cheese? Yep. Just add the cheese right on top to it. I'm making a mess. That's okay. <laughs> so now like do you want food. to, whoops, oh my goodness, we're all over the place. Um, so after this, do you want to pop this in the oven, pop it in yes. the microwave? What do you want to do? Typically I say you can pop it in the oven. Like I said, 300 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure the cheese is melted and it'll give it kind of a little crispy. You can use the microwave as well. And for those of you who like a softer bell pepper, I say put it in like um, a pan or glass dish, cover it with foil, mm -hmm. and then heat it in the oven that way. I like and that'll it. make it, that'll kind of condense the moisture into the pan, and then it'll make the bell pepper a little softer. Mm. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll continue topping the other two bell peppers. And I liked how you used uh, the red and orange ones, because Traditionally, sometimes yes. when you think of stuffed bell peppers, everybody automatically these thinks of the green ones. So, and I, I like these ones because they have a little bit sweeter taste. Yes, these have a. These are my favorite, the mm -hmm. green or the um, red and orange. Okay. Um, the greens are a little milder in taste, mm -hmm. and sometimes they can be bitter depending on if they are ripe enough. Mm -hmm. But these are definitely have a little bit of a sweetness and a little bit more flavor to them. All right. So we'll continue uh, doing that, and then we'll pop it in the oven, and then when we come back from commercial break, we'll show off the finished product. And of course, the reason why Riley shows up to work <laughs> on Fridays is to try it. And welcome back. If you're just joining us, we just made some bell pepper nacho bites, courtesy of Stephanie McGrew of Lone Star Physiques. I don't want to tilt that too much because I'll probably fall but it smells delicious it's kind of a different uh, take on stuffed bell peppers instead of using a whole stuffed bell pepper we cut them into little here. boats mm -hmm. and then um, I usually say you can make probably four to six little 
mm -hmm. bite-sized mm -hmm. boats. Of and instead of using traditional ground beef, you decided to go the healthier route exactly. with using a uh, ground turkey that you yes. kind of seasoned with your own little seasonings to kind of give it a little fiesta kick to it, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Then and I just then, threw on some onions and lettuce yes, in there yes. too. Yeah, and then after you did the, the, the meat, you actually tossed it in salsa? Salsa and a little bit of tomato paste. Mm -hmm. And then what you do is you go ahead and scoop them into the boats. You prefer the red and the orange bell exactly. peppers because they, they're they a little bit sweeter. Exactly. Um, and then once you have that done, you top it with some cheese. You can have taco cheese, cheddar cheese, I mean, any kind of cheese you want. Pop it in the oven for a little bit. Yep. Bring them out and, and then you can also add sour cream or mm. greek yogurt to add a little bit more protein fully mm -hmm. loaded nachos yeah. and i mm. love this because i feel like this is a little bit easier to eat than a whole stuffed bell pepper yes it you is because they're little bite sizes yes so uh of course it is now time that we try these <laughs> favorite part of the day uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put this to the test in the meantime because we don't want to be rude and talk with our mouths full <laughs> you can catch the recipe on our website at ktvo.com click on the features tab at the top of the home page there'll be a drop down box with gmh features and the recipe will be posted later today along with information with Stephanie McGrew. Thank you again for joining us. We hope you have a fabulous weekend. Have a safe holiday weekend.